coffee beans are caffeinated to stop insects nibbling at them, so claims the classic myth. But how much of this tale is true? Do coffee beans really include caffeine to kill predatory insects? Let's find out. Coffee beans are dried and roasted seeds of coffee fruits which grow on coffee trees. Coffee plants have presumably evolved caffeine-rich fruits through natural selection. In the wild, it helps to keep insects away from eating the plants thanks to its pesticidal nature and ability to brutally overload the creature's nervous systems. Ever wondered how the caffeine got there? Well, the latest research published in the journal Science discusses the logic behind it. Caffeine appears as a compound called xanthocene. This xanthocene reacts with four different enzymes which add on a cluster of atoms to it. These building enzymes are group enzymes called N-methyltransferases. But does caffeine in all plants evolve from the same group of enzymes? At University of Buffalo, a team found that the group of building block enzymes did not evolve from the same ancestors. For example, they studied that in cacao plants, the building enzymes' ancestors were different than those in coffee. In other words, the building enzymes in cacao and coffee evolved differently. The team discovered that when the gene for an N-methyltransferase mutated, accidental copies of these mutated genes were created in the plants. Thus, an evolution of genes progressed, leading to caffeinated fruits. The plants with the caffeine-producing gene were less susceptible to insect attacks and could reproduce at a greater rate than those strains of the plant that did not have the gene. Through natural selection, caffeinated coffee beans have become dominant. How are these coffee plants insect repellent? One way is that insects have taste receptors that help them avoid ingesting toxic and caffeine-containing food. Another way is that the coffee plant has nectar in its flowers which contain caffeine in low doses. The creepy crawlies become addicted to these flowers and revisit them again and again to ingest nectar, thus becoming overdosed and dying. The caffeine acts as a powerful stimulant to the nervous system. In reasonable doses in humans, it acts as a handy pick-me-up. But when insects ingest significant doses, they're effectively shocked into destruction. Coffee plants also don't allow small plants and herbs to grow nearby. The coffee plants grow dry, caffeine-filled leaves, which fall to the ground and make it impossible for any other seeds to germinate, meaning the coffee plants have all the soil's nutrients and sunlight to themselves. How effective the caffeine pesticide in coffee plants actually is in the wild is highly debated. Some experts have publicly shunned the myth, saying that caffeine has nothing to do with killing insects and that it is just a natural chemical produced in the coffee seeds. Other experts have argued that the caffeine was advantageous for the coffee plant for the mentioned reasons. Maybe coffee beans are just a lot more sinister than we thought. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to 26 Dimensions. I post all sorts of sciencey videos on here, so if you're interested in obscure stories, peculiar science, or space travel, you'll love this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.